What is up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Rob Squad Movie Reactions. We're so glad to be in the home theater. As many of you guys know, we just watched Seven, and man, that was absolutely twisted. And you guys wanted something a little more lighter after coming off that movie, so we have a comedy for y'all today and the leading actor we've seen in Caddyshack before. That, that's where we were really kind of put on to mm -hmm. him and wanted to watch something there. But before we get into that, if you guys are new, welcome to the channel. You are here Mondays and Fridays with your boy Jay. Hey y'all, you're also here with your girl Amber. Today we're watching Back to School with Rodney Dangerfield. This man has so many great one-liners. I'm oh, so ready goodness. to see him in another film. Like we said, we just want something fun, something lighthearted. You guys said this one was like an 80s classic. Now, an 80s classic is always a good film, I gotta say. Oh, no doubt about it. And like I said, when we seen Rodney Dangerfield in Caddyshack, he had us cracking up every single time he would come into the film. So we're happy to be getting to a, a movie that he stars and leads. I can only imagine it's probably gonna be hilarious just because like you said, he has so many one-liners and this the way he talks makes it's me laugh. It's funny so. <laughs> the way he carries himself. It's, it's gonna be interesting, I'm ready. We're ready to jump right into it. Make sure you guys like the video, hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell so you never miss any of our movie days. We're ready to check it out. And we always say before we start, grab your favorite drink, your favorite snack and like let's check out Back to School. Let's get it. Let's go. Yeah, Seven was wicked in the comments of that movie. Oh, the comment section. Oh, I love it. I sat there for an hour just last night reading reading it and replying. You know, guys, I have to admit, I love a good comedy on this channel. I do too. Comedy is my favorite movies. Comedy and action. Y'all are pulling me over to some of the scary stuff and some of the rom-coms. I said it once, and I say it again. I don't care how rich or successful a man is. If he don't got an education, he's got enough. Try, Pop. I can't do it. Then try harder. Very <laughs> <laughs> pull it his collar. You can do anything in life you want to do. Remember, you're a Maloney. Hey, he's spitting facts, though. Imagine when cities and towns back then, how how they used to look. Mm -hmm. How the lifestyle pictures, used to like be. The black and white pictures of old cities. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch. So the music was by Danny Elfman. We've seen a few films that have really cool music. I was just thinking was the exact him. same thing when I said I seen I, that name. Yeah, there were a few. <laughs> Now I'm going to be paying closer attention to the music of the mm. film. That's a name we've seen a few times. There's the facial expressions and like his eyes mm -hmm. make me just smile just even looking at him. When you make love, you have to give direction. At the zoo, oh. elephants throw you peanuts. Do you look at a menu and say, okay? Well, now you can eat all you want because that thought in Melon's tall and fat store. <laughs> That's his commercial. Husky, all you want stop. What a, hey, there's Polly. The yes, we have miles and miles of fabric. <laughs> if you want to look thin, you hang out with fat people. Don't you? Goodness. Dead. <laughs> so, did you see the new spot? Yeah, I seen it. Do I look fat? It? You could lose a couple of pounds. Gotta get bigger actors. I gotta get bigger actors. <laughs> I didn't catch that joke because I noticed instantly who's, whose brother that was. Morning, everyone. Yeah, Polly. Yep. <laughs> Take it easy. Will you take it easy? And don't get anything on the wall. Look at the conference table. is like a buffet. What else? Uh, the toy division has come up with a new doll idea to go along with our children's clothing line. We call them Melon Patch Kids. <laughs> melon Patch. Notion that their dolls are orphans. The Melon Patch Kids, not orphans. <laughs> They're abandoned. <laughs> we think it's uh, a winner. Okay, go with it. I had some cabbage patch dolls that my auntie's passed down. Melon, I told you to clean my locker. Now, if it's too much for you, we're going to have to get ourselves a new towel. Right, look, uh, I'm sorry, oh. Chess. I'll get on as soon as I can, okay? He's not on the swimming team. Well, he's a part of the team, but he's like a manager. Counts? Huh? It's, it's, it's lying by omission. He's not telling him the whole truth. Two. Uh, lay off Vanessa. She gets great headache. Lou, I can't believe it. Married five years. Seems like yesterday. You know what a lousy day yesterday was. 
You mean your friends. They are my friends, and I'd like to keep them. So please, just behave yourself tonight. Don't worry. If the roast beef is right, they'll be back. Gosh, that's like a, a whole shindig. That's a, that's a millionaire party. All we have is martinis and champagne. My own house, I can't get a beer. Mrs. Melon gave us strict orders. No cerveza. It's all right, I'll get it myself. It seemed like Miss Malone there for the money. Uh, we were just uh, looking for some uh, cocktail napkin. Hey, where? Under her dress? Right? You're impossible. You are easy. They must have, this must have happened. This must, can't get the sentence out. <laughs> happened a lot? Uh, yeah, thank you. Because he wasn't even that shocked by it. I hate small food, you know? He didn't cut a piece. He's making a sandwich. Hey, just my house. It actually looks yummy. Look at that one. Coming through hot stuff. <laughs> he said, I hate small food. Right, right. How do you do, Thornton? I know. <laughs> Dang, that's nasty. I know. How are you? <laughs> yeah, never mind. I got my own. It's all right. The light, Miller light. I love your dress, don't you, Thornton? It's such a lovely shade of green. Yeah, if that dress had pockets, you'd look like a pool table. <laughs> you should try my tall and fat stores. No offense. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. May I speak to you privately, please? Breakfast <laughs> spot. Why would she I'll wash my to the store where she says? <laughs> she was just in the closet. Right. Man. Yeah. No. You have no class, Thornton, and I am tired of it. I want a divorce. Divorce? I knew we had something in common. Here, yeah, sign these. <laughs> he had them ready. Good for him, though. This is gonna cost you plenty. Oh, she want that okay. money. You should know, let's, know not. Let's talk about class, man, all right? Is you and George, you're in a guest room. Look classy, isn't it? Ooh, Ooh, she ain't getting nothing. Another classy one, huh? Oh, this one I can't figure it out. There's you, there's Giorgio. What's with the midget over here? I want <laughs> Hey, wait, I got more. He went up to you, girl. He got it. Y'all, come on now. That's stunt double. You I see that's stunt double. That's stunt double. Yeah. Pack our bags. We're going up to that college to see my son. Yeah, he needed to go and get her up out of there, man. He thought she was a brand new man. I'm sure. I'm gonna live it. Change is gonna take you over the She said this gonna cost you. He said. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Here's you and so and so. Right. Hey, look, there's Greek lettuce. Oh, baby, you take your head. Pulled up in a limo. <laughs> Back to school. Here we go. Is that an amigo or a unicorn? Big Street. Huh? Don't you know any Big Street? Jimmy Pizzo. Remember him? <laughs> He's the only Greek I know. Oh, my ugly life for ugly. <laughs> He walked into a sorority house. Uh oh. Hello, hello. He's just gonna walk into each one because he said he doesn't know. I don't know the Greek letters either. Anybody here? I don't either. Jason, where are you? Hey, I need some help. No. Oh. Bad, bad. No. You're perfect. <gasps> Perfectly understandable, Mr. Mellon. It was an honest mistake. Let's just call it up. If he didn't open up the curtain and see. He said, a bad day, but a great view, he said. And just remember, the best thing about kids is making them. <laughs> <laughs> Even if I do manage to graduate, ha ha, what do I do? <laughs> oh, just the way he talks. And just like to make sure that like two regular schmoes like you and me never get a date with girls like Valerie Desmond. <laughs> I hate the whole bourgeois man. We know that face, and I, I'm, tr I'm gonna figure it out before this is over. His friend. Make this bullshit up as you go along. Oh, no, I read this. This is a book. It's Karl Marx, famous book, Proletarian Chicks and Bondage. Uh, it's a condom house book. Comes with a leather like hood. Robert I was just about to say, I think I'm it's Robert I feel like I'm not crazy because that would be a baby face, Robert Downey. Well, you know. Ah, Dad. Uh, we drive 300 miles to see the kid. That's the greeting we get. Okay. <laughs> hey. uh, look, I'm, I'm sorry, and I'm really, I'm glad this. He's got a pretenders poster. When I used to dream about going to college, this is the way I always pictured it. Wait a minute, when did you dream about going to college? When I used to fall asleep in high school. <laughs> you just got here. You just started. And I know, but I'm not making it here. I don't fit in, you know? I got one friend, Derek. He's got no friends. <laughs> I mean, look at it this way. At least you're getting an education. Dad, last semester I got nothing but C. A, B, C, you're in the top three. What are you worrying about? <laughs> top three. C's get degrees. 
I said it before, and I'll I say it again. Sense. I don't care how rich, successful a man is. Without an education, he's nothing. I mean, stay in school, study hard. Well, that's what his dad said to him. Want to be a loser? You be a loser. Want to be a winner? You be a winner. This is up to you. You can do it. Remember, you're a melon. <laughs> you to say you don't have to do any of it. Okay then, I'll do it with you. What do you mean you'll do it with? Do what? I mean just what I said. I'm going to college. Uh, the title just kicked in. Back to school. The son was happy. I would not want my daddy to hey, you got dad. I would have no friends. My dad would, hey. would not let nobody talk to me. You got a dad as cool as that. Hey, yeah. come on. Hours as a freshman? That's right, Dean Martin. Are you comfortable? Oh, I'm, I'm fine. Yeah. Oh, the chair. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm not used to sitting on this side. Since you have no high school diploma and no transcripts of any kind, no SAT scores, and you're 30 to 40 years older than our average freshman. But he's running a business. That's cool. Does he ever see its way clear to accept you as a student? As Calvin Coolidge once said, the business of America is business. Ah, Do you see what he did? The kind of business that it actually is. So, <laughs> whatever it is that I have said here today. He didn't say nothing. What well, he said. <laughs> And newest freshman, the man who's made it possible for us to break ground here today, Mr. Thornton Mellon. He said, I'll build you a business school. Mm, loopholes. For an obviously unqualified student is very ethical or honorable. All right, Bill, um, but I just like to The Dean, we've seen him in something too. I just can't figure out what it is. Understands the actual amounts that are involved here. <laughs> Mr. Mellon, uh, will you take the ceremonial shovel? Thank you. And dig into the symbolic dirt. Look at the car Dr. Ray drove up in. Oh no, old school, that's a sweet car though. Myself. <laughs> I've seen that. Coming. I did it. I've seen that coming as soon as he dug into that dirt. Alright, now, Dad, it's just like we talked about. You sign up for whatever interests you, okay? Right. We gotta get on the astronomy line before it closes up. He's got his driver still with him going. I know, Lou. What are you gonna do? Come on, I got an idea. You get everything you want? Oh, I got the lap and I got the Sanskrit. And then, but then they cancel my ancient Greek. Just boom. Gosh, a young Robert Downey Jr. I'm Valerie Desmond. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm, I'm Jason McMillan. Hi. Hi. That, is uh, that the swim team guy? How can I tell what? Yep. Mm -hmm. The dynamic? Mm hmm. Bye, Bill. Bye. Thank you. I'm dead. <laughs> You're not alone. First I'm off, not I ain't about to be intimidated by, by, no, by no diver. I'm so sorry. What I'm not, I'm, supposed I'm, to be? I'm not offending any diver. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. That diver, just the way he looks. He held up a sign as Bruce Springsteen's driver. Everybody left. Well, I would have got you too. Yeah. <laughs> All I know is I'm supposed to pick him up here. Where? Now. Come on, let's run. Let's register. <laughs> hey, witty. That's smart. Smarter, not harder. Hey, what's with the used books? What's wrong with used books? They've already been read. Yeah, and they already been underlined too, get it? That's the problem. Deli and used books save you a lot of money mm -hmm. in college. All right, we used to get them. And then important parts would be highlighted already. I pick a card. And I'll tell you, I'm taking four of those school sweaters, a bunch of pants. Remember, little, I book, always got remember little bookstore in Telecall that had all the used books? To cheer with them. Hey, folks, it's on me. Shakespeare for everyone, okay? Are yeah. uh, you too, honey? Ooh, I'd like to tame your shrew. Imagine. <laughs> And the walking epitome of the decline of modern education. A stupid clod thinks he can buy his way out of the gutter. Oh, I don't think so. I think out he was just gutter. having fun. Oh, really? He just offered to buy books for everybody. You know, you know how expensive that was. It rubbed off from you, Buzzy. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello to Sonia for me, huh? <laughs> hey, I want to talk to you about my schedule. We'll go over it later. Oh. No, he... Busted down the walls in between the dorm room. <laughs> That's sick. Matt, wait well, boys, eyes. what do you think? <laughs> Got a hot tub in there. Well, how can you study if you're not, not happy? I would be. Oh, man. Dorm suck. All right, 11 o'clock. But I'm going to talk to that dean. <laughs> I mean, these classes could be a real inconvenience. All right, settle down, people. We've got a lot to cover and time. Hey, that was sick. He made it like a pit house That's almost. Cool. Then let's just say they're widgets. What's a widget? It's a fictional product. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Tell that to the bank, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, something else you can roll over every couple of months. Thank you, Mr. Mellon, mm. but we'll be concentrating on finance a little later in the term. It's very easy. For the see. time being, 
this dynamic because he's out there in the field doing it. Yeah, he, and he has yeah, no college education. Yeah, that's different education. than teaching. It's different. And he's done all this with no college education or yeah. high school diploma. Then there's a long-term course such as waste disposal. I don't know if you are familiar with who runs that business, but I assure you it's not the Boy Scouts. Mm. That'll be quite enough, Mr. Mellon. He's making him look silly. Yeah, he is. Do I make myself clear? Sorry, just trying to help. Now, notwithstanding Mr. Mellon's input, the next question for us is... Oh, yeah. Teacher feels threatened, for sure. How about fantasy land? <laughs> <laughs> Because the, uh, the teacher thinks he's better because he has an education. Right? Yeah, he's exactly. He's teaching business. This man ran a business. And I think it's cool. Because my daddy had a business. It was small, but he didn't have a GED. He didn't go to college. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have all that. Contemporary American history, Professor Turgis. Yeah. Well, you know him? Is he good? Well, he's... Uh, really well, no, my dad didn't have a diploma. He had a GED. Sorry. The failure of Vietnamization to impart their support caused an ongoing erosion of confidence in the various American but illegal Saigon regimes. Well, that sounded like a well put together answer. I was up to my knees in rice paddies with Johnson Edwards going up against Char Okay. Thank you. We're back here partying. Listen to the goddamn Beatle albums. Ah! <laughs> this really got more interesting. Golly. Great school at the time. And me, I'm not a fighter. I'm a lover. <laughs> you know, uh -oh. like, like, like the way, I don't know. He talks, he kind of bobbles his head in his body. And push those rice eaters back to the Great Wall of China and take the first big break and nuke them back into the fucking Stone Age River! How oh my gosh! All right, I'll say it. Those Truman was too much of a pussy wimp to let MacArthur go in there and blow out those cummy bastards! Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> like the way you think. Oh, dang, they're triggered. I'm gonna be watching you. <laughs> that that was a weird moment. <laughs> you're tall and fat. Uh, well, you're short and ugly. Give me the pen back, will you? <laughs> uh, honey, here's a pen. Boys, how are you? That's marketing right there. He's giving out his pens. Oh, goodness. She's got to be like a humanities teacher. Just by the look of it in her class. Look at her in her classroom. And then he asked me, would I yes to say my mountain flower? And first I put my arms around him, yes, <laughs> and drew him down to me so he could feel my... Oh, oh. gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks for the vote of confidence. I think Joyce is pretty hot, too. Uh. Is she a literature teacher? For the semester. See what else turns you on. <laughs> what a woman. What a woman. Hello, Mr. Mellon. Are you waiting for me? Yes, I was. Look, I know I'm only a freshman, but what do you say you and I have dinner tonight? I just asked her. I'll tell you what, then. Why don't you call me sometime when you have no class? <laughs> All right. Maybe I will. Oh, I hope she... she's not the one she's going She's Oh, going gosh. With. Intelligent, well-educated adults, we should be together. This car is Incorporated, nice if you will. He's asking her to be in a relationship in the oddest way. Have fun and be romanced and be loved. So let's not rush into anything. Start by having fun, okay? It's a dagger. It's not something like a sport you see in Oklahoma. A rock. I don't even know if we so can have, like we have swimming. I see it at the Olympics. That's the only time I've ever seen diving. Why would the coach not want him? Next time, hold the pipe a little longer. Wait a minute. I'll be right down. Oh, gosh. Stunt double time. Stunt double time. <laughs> Let's see this. Let's see if the body changes. <laughs> Probably still stunt double. Yeah, it's the stunt double. But that was a good dive. I'm set the new record for the most consecutive losses by a diving coach in this conference. <laughs> See, we've seen that guy yeah, we have. too. I'm, I was just waiting until I figured it out to say something. <laughs> That's pretty. Not bad. My main melon. Also, I've never seen, so, like, the way they dive off of platforms mm -hmm. instead of boards is... Uh, uh, what? I'm sorry. Astronomy, chapter two. Oh, Ort, Ort, a uh, scientist, and he figured out that the... Uh... Thanks, that helps a lot. Listen, I was just wondering, um... Would you do my astronomy homework for the rest of the semester? She's not serious. 
There you go. She, I hope he doesn't do it. Now standing up straight. <laughs> Lovely girls. How would you like a life of luxury and deceit? He means that. He means that. Shake it up, baby. Twist it. Come on, come on. Take a little bit. For a bar. You're smart, too. Yeah, but you're like smart, smart. You study at the library every night? No, I was going to meet my dad there, but he must be studying at the dorm. Uh, yeah. Dad is not <laughs> Dad's out having a good time. Uh, <laughs> Party animal. <laughs> Look, he's on stage. <laughs> Twist and sh Oh, he's hot. Come on, baby. I would take I would take him as a dad. Oh baby, Lord. Ooh, not that low, baby. Mm, to the left, baby, to the left. How did he get himself up there on the stage? Baby, hold it, hold it. Oh, <laughs> shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, baby. Uh, his shirt is buttoned all the way down. Baby! <laughs> shake it! You know, like colleges, they'll have like the parent weekends. You know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? Your boy Jay, when oh, he about no. fifty something parent weekend, it's a takeover. Interesting little rally you guys had tonight. Yeah, right. I got paint all over my girlfriend. His friend. Kill them, peeing heads. Huh? Why Derek Lutz? Ooh. Oh no! I just get upset when I get upset. Hey, he gets physical. Lou. Lou. I get upset when I get upset. <laughs> now you do. Oh, like he's laughing. The roommate's nuts. Nuts. Roommate's crazy. It's so funny seeing Lou in this this role where he he's the bad dude. You know what I'm talking about? Like he's a tough yeah. guy. Look at Dad just sitting there watching everything unfold. Lou, where you been? I'm getting my ass kicked all over the place. <laughs> Lou done turned the place up. Party over. I love he comes in with a tracksuit. I do love the tracksuit. Tracksuit with a collar shirt underneath. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the high school I went to, they asked a kid to prove the law of gravity. He threw the teacher out the window. <laughs> I know what I need. I need a tutor. Hey, what are you? Hey. Hey, smooth. Why don't Great. you come around about to Great. give you my Great. address? Thanks, thanks. Please be on time. I'll be on time. Yeah, he'll make it. Orson Welles, great actor, big act. He was a tall and fat customer for years. How about Cat on a Hot Tin Roof? I saw the movie, Burl Ives. Great. Saw the movie? That's me, though. Like, I'll watch the movie. Don't you ever read? Read? Who has time? I see the movie. I'm in and out in two hours. Oh, that, that's how I am. She she reads. Like, oh, I'll just put, I'll just watch the movie. I got an idea. Let's keep talking over dinner. From I'm session supposed to, to meet someone for dinner. I, I could cancel, though. I, I guess. I mean, we are working, after all. Mm -hmm. She's canceling on him. Concentrate when you're hungry. Right. Oh, I, I don't know. I, I really shouldn't. I have, I have so many things. Come on, I'll help you. I'll, I'll take out the guard. <laughs> I'll do anything, baby. I think I'm attracted to teachers. I took out an English teacher. That didn't work out at all. I sent her a love letter. She corrected it. <laughs> she corrected it. Uh, Those two ought to get a room. Really? <laughs> Actually, I was married twice. My first wife, Jason's mother, I really love. Was that beer still, or was it? Do I? I don't know. I can't figure women out. Today they're independent. They only think about themselves. But during sex, Vanessa, she used to scream out her own name. Oh shoot! <laughs> Vanessa's a bit conceited. <laughs> if we finish this bottle of wine, you won't have to bake. Hey. hey. And he outside her house polishing the car. She never agreed to go study with that man, though. Remember, she said she didn't want to be in a relationship. Diane. Oh. Did you even see this man? Oh, Philip. We were supposed to go to dinner. I just had dinner. I don't believe this. Maybe it's a dream. Good night. Oh, she's tipsy. Remember. Uh huh. You do a good job. What are you charged for big cars? Oh. I think she's a little more tipsy. <laughs> He's always supposed to have dinner. I had dinner. Well, uh, I guess this is a good night. Yeah. A very good night. Oh, he said, I'm making that. Oh, you know this man was gonna make a movie. This is a bold man. Oh, oh. 
That's it. That's the spot. Just keep the... Oh, oh no, don't lose it. it. Oh. 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 Oh, he's getting a massage. Y'all did not want to see that. So how are you going to write the paper then, huh? Hi. I'm Kurt Vonnegut. I'm looking for Thornton Mellon. Uh, uh, want to come in? He said, here's how I'm going to pass it. <laughs> he got the actual dude to pull up. All you have to do is put a new tape every hour and observe the animal. I'll be back in a few hours to check on you. Okay. Sure. Oh, he's going to get left there with three monkeys? No. No. You don't need this. I'll find you an organ. That's probably like watching toddlers. And he thinks he can be on the phone. See if you get somebody at the Rand Corporation or the Brookings Institute come down here for about a week. <laughs> what? <laughs> Monkeys are cute. Oh, no problem. <laughs> They're taking a break, that's all. Feeding on pizza. One of those pizza, sound, pizza sounds good. Hide away pizza. I don't know how many states that too. Uh, no. He sent her in to take notes. Who are you? Uh, I'm Marge Sweetwater. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Thornton Mellon's private secretary. <laughs> oh That's gonna take gosh. him off. That's gonna take him off. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm taking notes for mm. Mr. Mellon. <laughs> she was in uh, was it planes, trains, and automobiles, I think. You will never, ever this course. Oh, he, he's out Make for sure him. he gets there. Yeah, he, it's personal now. He took his honey. Yes, sir. She said she didn't want to date. She told him. Where's the lab report on psychology? It's too light. It feels like a C. Spoke it up. That's why he had his team sit. Kids, they always do things the hard way. He's still. I've never been to a swim meet either. Me neither. Let me know what one would look like. Right. I really try. Good, good. I hope I'll see you there. It sounds like fun. I wish my dad were more like yours. So he's got a cool dad. He does. Chaz Osborne. That would be hard. Divers gotta have like some type of like gymnastic background. Has to. <laughs> How are you doing, huh? I didn't see his dad paying him off. I hope he doesn't do something. Oh, that is bad. You think he did that on purpose? No, I think they got in his head. Everybody's 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 Where are we? Oh, they're like a... Oh, is this the part? Is this a party? Okay. So what, what happened? It's always the best party of the year. I don't know, some big event. It's because his dad's party. Look at him. That's the group from the bar, I think. It's Oingo Boingo. I don't think we knew what Oingo Boingo looked like. I don't think so. How did he get Oingo Boingo? <laughs> oh, it's the death thing. Ah, oh, maybe this will cheer you up. You look like the poster boy for birth control. <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, everybody make some noise. That's fun. The breaking point. The teachers are pulling up to the dorm party. The whole world is there. It's the best thing that's <laughs> ever happened to me in my whole life. Oh, God. <laughs> she wants to go in, I feel like. Listen to that racket. This is disgraceful. Security's already been phoned. Good. Apparently, I'm not the only one around here with a sense of decency. I was about to say, They're the way. The, in some more I was about to say, the way the police was rocking with them earlier, I could see them joining. Oh, oh please. Oh, Philip. We need to do some more Oingo. I know, we do. Have we done this one? I thought so. Excuse me, has anyone seen Thornton Mellon? <laughs> That's what I call marine biology. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Say hello to my nieces. Hey, wait a minute. 
Jason? There you are. I was looking all over for you. Jason, are you okay? I'm sorry about the swim meet. Shit. Jason being bad is just hard for me to believe. I wonder what I'm gonna do, knock your teeth down your throat? Easy, Melon. Your father isn't here to back you up this time. Don't! Oh. 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 Mm. Punched in your mouth. It went straight to the ground. Mm. You're on a team because you deserve it. You made it on your own. <laughs> you don't get it. Everything I have is because of you. And because of you, I get my, I get my astronomy homework done for me by NASA. <laughs> Right That's what I ever wanted. I did it all for you. I know, but you don't know when to quit. Look, I know you came up here to help me. His dad means well. Mm, yeah. Be sweet, and it's really not working. Just let me do something for myself. Just want to see you happy, that's all. Well, take a good look, because I was a lot happier when I was miserable. A lot happier when I was miserable. What do you think? Someone else wrote this? Look, all I know is that you didn't, and that's what disappoints me. I'll tell you something else. Whoever did write it doesn't know the first thing about Kurt Vonnegut. And another thing, Vonnegut, I'm gonna stop paying on a check. <laughs> what do you mean doesn't know a thing about him? That was him. Hey, Kurt, you read lips. Fuck you! <laughs> Next time I'll call Robert Ludlum. <laughs> Derek, have you seen Jason? Derek? I like Robert Downey Jr. in this character bad news dean martin was to see you in his office right away dean martin <laughs> and she said let's do it the room's already paid for <laughs> do you know that's irking the other dude him that's irking him phil would you repeat to mr mellon the allegations that you've made to me oh philip it's clear the work you've handed in is not your own i'm accusing you of academic fraud oh he should have known that's gonna happen yes it is <laughs> I'm satisfied. Oh. I'm outraged. Well, gee whiz, Phil. I just asked the man to work with his... Gee whiz, Phil. I can't lie to you. Yes. yes. Oral examination? Yes. If you've done the work you say you have, there should be no problem, should there? Hey. I'd be so mad at that teacher. He'd be like, let me live. He's got it out for him. I put one through college, and the other I put through a war. Your papa loves you, hey. He's looking out for you. Look out for him. He does have a good dad. Mm -hmm. I know he's unconventional, but to have a, a parent that cares about you. For sure. He looks like he makes the best, most interesting sandwiches, by the way. Remember the one he made at the beginning of the mm -hmm. party? Because the food was too small. Don't quit, I'll help you. <laughs> so now he's gonna have to have like a crash course of everything. Man. Quite frankly, that's how I sit with I do my best work the night before. When like, there's no other option. Really okay. rolls around there. <laughs> and he said he hates reading. He'd, he'd rather watch a movie. Yeah, remember, you're right. That's probably his favorite way to read a book. That's probably his favorite. <laughs> Before we begin, I would just like to thank each and every professor here for taking time. This man really was out to get him. Man. To call, call all these people. Any part of it you will be expelled. Any part Mr. of it. Mr. Mellon, do you understand? The Council of Trent. Excuse me. I missed a question. We haven't begun yet. Oh, I don't. There's, he's too tired. Harvey, I suppose you're up first. This is a little excessive. He was threatened by him from the beginning. Management fundamentals, B, organizing and staffing, C, labor management, and D, production and operation, part two. Oh my goodness. And then A, B, C answers. Yeah, it's a piece of cake. That's like, it was like a, that was like a whole... Jason? Test. Yeah. Not just a question. Your behavior and the things you said. Really sorry. And I'm really in love with you and I really... Oh. He was a sweet guy. He was just pushed to his point. Are you aware that that's the most you've ever said to me at one time? <laughs> oh, except, of course, for the time that you were raving me drunk. <gasps> Whoa, she said the L word. He said he loved her first. Oh, I yeah, he did. Her to say he that. didn't say like, he said loved. You're right. I didn't know that we were, we were this deep. Uh oh. I love that she's taller. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mellon? Hey, I'm put under a lot of pressure here. Let's take it easy on I liked that teacher. Say it! Old war vet. Say it! Oh, gosh. There is four? 
Right. He should have been the hardest one to get through then. Rage! What are we saying? Rage against the dying of the light! Thornton, what does that poem mean to you? It means I don't take shit from no- Yeah! That's what he got from it. I'm staying in school! Who's next? Let's go. Uh, who's next? You know what you almost never see? Somebody heckling a diver. What does that mean? Does that mean he's gonna do it? Oh, that's not the sport to heckle someone. Oh, because aren't you supposed to be super quiet? I thought so. Kind of like yeah, tennis. like in the Olympics, it's like. Thanks, man. Please <laughs> refrain from during the dive. That's not cool. Bill Mankamp. What a terrible person. What a terrible person. <laughs> So bad. Dirty. That's the 10 meter dive. Next up, the Grand Lakes Hooter. I'd like to remind you. Did you see his, his yeah. little swaggy little wink? Well, are you interested in Valerie Desmond? Because she's with me. Coming into your own, are you, Melon? He ain't big dog no more. You'll always be a crude, obnoxious, nouveau riche little flea, and you're going to end up just like your father. God, I hope so. I have the Yeah. You end up like your daddy. You got a good daddy. Chaz Osborne, former national high school champion. I'll get him if anybody. Well, that's gonna be cool. trash. What, how he landed? Yeah. Yeah, his feet were apart. Feet were separated, yep. Now diving for Grand Lakes University, Jason Mellon. You see how they only have like tops of their mm -hmm. feet on the ledge. You see how like graceful that was? Yeah. Probably menstrual. <laughs> Screw you, Melon. Coach Turnbull, you got another eligible diver? This is too scared. Melon! <gasps> <gasps> no. No, they're not. We need ya! Get your suit on! Oh, not a chance. What a shape I'm in. Mean, you could donate my body to science fiction. To science fiction. <laughs> Alan, we need you! He got eligibility. I'm cracking up. I cannot believe that he's about to jump. In a he's on my uh, substitute roster. But, I, I, but uh, what I'll do is, uh, first chance I get, I'll... Uh... The crowd's going wild. This is I love that he got his own little entrance, right? A special entrance. The triple Lindy. He is not. No, he's not. Is this the one he said he saw? The, the one that said he almost killed him. And he said it was so him. dangerous. <laughs> you know he's gonna hit it. Look at him. Whoa, Whoa what the they, he jumped onto another board. <laughs> and another and board? And another one. <laughs> and then the last one, it's a triple, right? Of course. Back on onto space. it. One, two, and a half. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Springboards. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go out and say they won this competition. With the triple Lindy. <laughs> oh, and he gets the girl. I guess there's nothing you can do. Oh, you hear him? You all these. And an all these and an yeah. pass. This is the first time in the history of this finest that a freshman has given this address. Mr. Thornton Mellon. Oh, Congratulations. Look at that cigar. Yeah, Derek cracks me up. He cracks. I, I love Robert Downey Jr. in this role. I haven't really seen him in too many things, though. I just know he's a very popular mm -hmm. actor with a really interesting story. I, I, haven't seen the, I haven't seen the Iron Man. Me either. But I've read about him in general, his story. I have only one thing to say to you today. It's a jungle out there. You gotta look out for number one. <laughs> Don't step at number two. <laughs> the face looks fresh. Graduates. As you go out into the world, my advice to you is, don't go. It's rough out there. 
Move back with your parents. Let them worry about it. That was great, guys. For Estelle, thanks for so much. I wonder who Estelle is. This type of movie, let me check, because I feel like there would be like extra cuts. Oh, I would hope so. With I just feel like this is the type of movie there would be extra cuts. I don't one. think there is. You've gone too far. <laughs> There's not good. That was hilarious, guys. That was great, guys. No, I love something that's lighthearted, something that doesn't make you think too hard. I love a good comedian with the one-liners and especially Roddy the Roddy facial Roddy expressions Roddy. and just him in general makes it even better. His humor is great. It makes you laugh. It kind of makes you blush a little bit and then we keep on moving into the next joke. It's great. Uh, when it comes to like comedians and like facial expressions, like movements, like him, Jim Carrey is like another one I could think of. Yeah. Like, <laughs> That's the biggest expression. Like, like just hilarious. Like I said, from Caddyshack, like we we first got introduced to him, yeah. we were like, oh, he he is funny. And then this one just took it, just took it over. So many one-liners. Uh -huh. And like just, just his charisma about him. And, you know, speaking on the movie, I, I liked it. Who wouldn't want to have a father like that? I yeah, mean, I I thought it was cool. He may push the limits, but at the end, like, he really does care a lot. Yeah, you gotta live a good, lighthearted 80s comedy with a little bit of romance in there, because he did get the girl. She's so sophisticated <laughs> and educated, and I love it that she picked a man and, like him. And it's funny because he had so many dirty jokes in this as well. A lot well. of dirty jokes. Like, and it, like, at first go over your head, then you're like, wait, did he just say, he just said that. that that's the funny thing about Roddy Dangerfield. So thank you guys. Like we said, we wanted something lighthearted, something funny. This was the perfect one. And please, give us some more films that he's uh, the star role in or other films that he's in a lot. And we definitely will be checking those out because he, he's it's one of those pleasures that every time you watch it, you know you're going to get a good laugh. And that was with Back to School. So thank you guys. But as we always send you out of here, every channel we have, we love you. We thank you. We appreciate you. And remember every day that y'all wake up, it is a blessing and that you are blessed. And for your new family members, to hit that subscribe button down below. We welcome y'all to the RSR family. But y'all have a goal every day, just like we do. Let them know, ma. Let's make somebody smile today, y'all. We love you guys. Till next time, we'll see y'all later.